What was my dad promise this Father's Day? That I would help dads acquire a sustainably fashionable men's wardrobe. How? Simples. Just have these 10 basic items in your closet. <laughs> The first staple item, item number one, a navy blue suit, two buttons, medium lapel, medium weight fabric. It's all about fitting. A well-fitted suit should have no puckering or pull across the back or the shoulders. No creases around the armhole. It should have enough ease for comfort. However, it should not be baggy or fluff up around the shoulders. Invest in quality fabric, quality tailoring. Now you would say, Samita, all of that costs money. Yes, probably a little more than what you would pay if you were to pick up a suit at 50% discount. But what if it doesn't fit? If you give your suit a little bit of TLC, it'll last for years, serve you for years to come. Always use these kind of hangers, hangers that support the shoulders. Store your suit in a garment bag. With a little bit of extra seam allowance, you can adjust a suit to your body measurements as they go up and down. So that's what's required if you want wear out of your suit. Next item, item number two. You would say a white shirt. I would say two. First, a formal dress shirt, a shirt that's made out of say fabric like Oxford with French cuffs. Cuffs that require cufflinks. You could wear your formal white shirt with just the navy suit that we talked about earlier or even a navy blazer coordinated with top or beige trousers. Added to the formal dress shirt, you could also have a crisp white linen shirt perfect for Casual or Friday dressing, combined with denim, combined with chinos. Talking trousers, you have to have three categories. First, formal trousers. You could have navy trousers or charcoal trousers. Charcoal is much more forgiving than black trousers. Black actually exactly outlines your contours, your proportions. So unless you have perfect proportions, I would say stay away from black. A word of caution. And many of us are guilty of doing this. Your formal trousers should only be worn formally. Now, if you wear them anywhere and everywhere to work, to supermarkets, what will happen after a while, they'll start showing signs of wear and tear and they'll be mismatched with your blazer. That's not a good thing, right? Category 2, chinos. The word chino comes from China because these are made out of medium weight cotton twill that obviously comes from China. Now, chinos are perfect for Friday dressing. Casual office wear, casual socializing. Chinos are comfortable, breathable, and also lightweight. However, they are not formal. They cannot be also dressed down like a pair of denim trousers. If you are required to dress formal, you cannot wear chinos. Chinos are a no-no for formal events.
What do you wear chinos with? I mentioned the crisp white linen shirt. You could also wear chinos with solid colored polos. Category 3, the universal blue jeans. Talking of polos, solid colored polos are classics. Printed polos can be just a one season wonder. And if you want them sloganed or with the logo, it should be discreet. Now you don't have to be plastered with slogans and logos just to tell people that you've arrived. Crew neck t-shirts. You have to have a few in your wardrobe. Just don't give in to the temptation of buying half a dozen cheap crew neck t-shirts. Invest in good quality fabric like bamboo, like organic cotton. Wear them with shorts, jeans, trucker jackets. So that works beautifully for your casual wear. If you are slender, I suggest you stick with polo shirts. Polo shirts add body to your physique. And if you want to shed a few extra pounds, replace your crew neck tee with a V-neck tee. V-neck tee has a slimming effect and would give your face a chiseled look. Coming to jackets, you will need at least two jackets in your wardrobe. First, a denim trucker jacket. Denim works well in early winter, spring or even summer evenings. However, denim is not waterproof. It will absorb water and become very heavy. It is also not resistant to wind. So for that, you need a waterproof, windproof jacket, a rainproof, windproof jacket. Now I'll tell you a little story. My other half bought this in New York. He had to because we were caught in the rain and it was freezing cold. So this saved him from the wind and also from getting wet. And ever since, he pretty much lives in this jacket. Wherever he goes, work, footy match, traveling, he and his waterproof, windproof jacket are inseparable. They say accessories make a man. You can tell a man's class from his accessories. When it comes to men's scarves, cashmere or wool is your best option. You could invest in solid colors or maybe experiment with stripes, motifs like houndstooth. You could even go funky and experiment a little bit with florals and paisley. Headwear. Merino beanies are unparalleled for comfort and warmth. You could buy the skull caps or even the ones that you can pull over your ears. Hats. Trilbies or Humbergs work beautifully. There was a time when no gentleman would be seen in public without a hat and he would always doff his hat when meeting a lady. Sunglasses. One pair of trusted aviators will see you through a number of years. And I can even borrow my husband's aviators. How's that? For inspiration. Wallets. My vote goes to the hand-stitched ones. Sleek and classy. Alternately, with wallets, you can also reinforce your 
brand persona. A Dolce and Gabbana wallet with matching pocket squares. The all important perfect Windsor knot. What am I talking about? Naturally, the tie. Plaids, stripes, solid colors are classics. You could be a little playful. Try motifs, florals, paisleys. But you know what? Don't go overboard. Christmas ties look nice only around Christmas. Belts. My vote goes to the hand-stitched ones with brass buckles. Why brass? Because brass is hard-wearing, long-lasting and can be polished quite easily. At times, the buckle itself is more expensive than the belt. You could also opt for vegan belts like these. What are critical to a man's wardrobe? No prizes for guessing. Shoes. In my next video, I will give you a rundown of stores that sell sustainable menswear, clothing, shoes, accessories. Stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Spread the Learn with Samita buzz. Give your menswear tips in comments. Till next time. Samita signing off. Bye.